This is my most important speech to give. I've given a lot of speeches here at Toastmasters, but this is the most important. And the reason why it's the most important, because this is the first speech I'm given as your president. As a president, you need to hear the direction of the club, what concerns the club. First of all, I want you to know that I love this club. I'm concerned about the state of the club. I'm concerned about each and every one of you. It's my endeavor to make this the best environment for each and every one of you. I could have spoke to you today about new programs, about how to achieve a distinguished club ranking. But today, I want to talk to you about something that's fundamental to us. It's really our foundation, and that is our identity. We are called Global Communication Leaders. That's the name of our group. But what is our identity? I propose to you today that we all strive to make our identity, to make GCL a club where excellence is standard. Where excellence is standard. You may say, if I was already an excellent speaker or an excellent leader, I wouldn't need Toastmasters. But when I speak of excellence, I'm speaking of quality, dignity. I'm speaking of going that extra mile, being the best that you can be. Every one of us has the ability to make excellence our standard. Toastmasters has been around for a long while. It began in 1924. Started in the basement of a YMCA. It has now grown to over 12,000 clubs. Over a quarter of a million people. We're located in over 100 countries. We are one of the 12,000 clubs. And we need to make sure that we mark our space in the Toastmaster area. And our club is going to be known as the club when you go there any given Thursday, you're going to find that this is a club where excellence is standard. There are three principles that I'd like us to understand and implement if we ought to be such a club. The first principle is make it count. Whatever you find yourself doing, be it a Toastmaster, be it an R counter, or being a speaker, make it count. Get the most out of it as you possibly can do. One way of identifying us as being a good communicator, communicator is getting your CC, Competent Communicator Certification. And when you get that, it implies that you have completed certain objectives and 10 projects, and you have reached certain goals. It starts off with the icebreaker. A lot of people are scared to speak, so they're kind of scared, but the icebreaker breaks them out of it. They're talking to a crowd. They gain their confidence. And from there, begin to organize their speech. A beginning, a middle, and an end. How to organize a speech. And from there, they learn to do various things. There's a voice inflection, going high or going low. Using visual aids, like Lucy did. Persuading, like Lucy just did, or motivating, which I'm attempting to do right now. And at the end of the 10 projects, all the tools you picked up by doing these objectives are going to help you in your job. It's going to help you in your business, because you took time to take each objective very seriously. But do you realize? that you can earn your CC and not make it count because you don't have to meet any objective to get a CC. All you need to do is complete 10 projects. This may sound strange, but you can do 10 projects, the exact same speech, and your speech can simply be, Mary had a little lamb, her fleece was white as snow, and everywhere that Mary went, her lamb was sure to go. See, at 10 times, we got to sign you off. Now, you may not win Best Speaker Award, your evaluation, well, it'd be kind of funny because we always taught and I invite her to say something good. So I said, wow, what she had married was a great way. I love that verse rhyme. 
Did he say something bad? Well, <laughs> didn't, <laughs> didn't make the objective. But looking forward to your next speech. We're very nice here. <laughs> but what have it gained you? Would Lilia be able to do her speech in front of the VP? Has she skipped her objectives and not make it count? I was in the military. We had an obstacle course. We had to run. We had to climb the wall. But what if someone said, I'm not going to climb the wall, I'm going to go around it and stop laughing about it. But then in the war time comes, because time to climb the wall and they can't do it. They lost their life because they did not meet the objective. They went around it. Make it count, whatever you did. Not only that, the second principle is, whatever you do, try to do it better. There's a saying. That practice makes what? Perfect. Perfect. I disagree. Practice does not make perfect. Practice makes better. And especially in Toastmasters, you would never reach perfection. If we could have, why would someone stay in Toastmasters after getting their DTM? Because there's always higher heights to climb and deeper depths to go. There's always something you can do better. None of us is perfect. But we are on the road to perfection. And how do you advance on the road to perfection? First of all, you identify something of fault. It comes in your evaluation. You hear what's wrong, you correct it. You move up. One step further on the road to perfection. You practice and you got better. But to deny a very critical, important thing and not do it, take a step backwards. Always strive to get better. 